San Bernardino County has recently sponsored two bills, AB 2728 and SB 1426 in Sacramento, that would seek to increase fines for illegal cannabis farming and target the illegal pollution of groundwater. San Bernardino County is working hard to address a critical public safety problem with illegal cannabis farming. Nearly 1,300 illegal cannabis farms have been located in our county. Illegal cannabis farming is a major threat to the public safety of communities across San Bernardino County. The criminals who run these farms bring chaos and lawlessness to the doorsteps of many residents in these small, isolated communities. Illegal marijuana doesn't make for a good neighbor. Whether it's rural, residential, protected public lands, or commercial areas, our residents have experienced the negative impacts. That's why San Bernardino County is taking action to address this crisis by introducing two new pieces of state legislation that will help stop these crimes and give prosecutors the tools that they need. Current state law makes any illegal cannabis cultivation crime only a misdemeanor. It makes no distinction between an illegal cannabis farm with 70 plants or one with 70,000. AB 2728 corrects this fundamental flaw by assigning higher fines to bigger illegal operations and getting tough with criminals who flood the market with illegal cannabis. My Assembly Bill 2728 would scale the civil penalties for unlicensed cannabis activity. They are allowing these penalties to be tied to the size and the scale of unlicensed cannabis operations with a number of plants, number of previous infractions, amount of product, and other extenuating factors taken into account when assessing the fine. SB 1426 addresses the impact of illicit cannabis farms in two ways. First, by clarifying that groundwater is a public re resource, and second, by establishing that the theft of groundwater, unauthorized tapping into a water conveyance or storage infrastructure, or digging an unpermitted illegal well may be punished by imprisonment as a felony. And we realize that while we don't have as many tools as we used to have to fight marijuana, everyone in this state agrees that the environment is something that is very, very important to look after, particularly as scarce as water is. I'm hoping the state will look at this as a bipartisan bill, and I'm hoping that they will pass this bill and get it through there because you're not only hurting the youth, the people, everyone else, but you're hurting the environment in a very precious ecosystem that we live and work. Through collaboration with the Board of Supervisors, we've expanded our marijuana enforcement teams to tackle this problem head on. While the Sheriff's Department has been actively serving search warrants and eradicating many sites over the past six months, tougher state laws are necessary to help law enforcement effectively deal with this enormous problem.